hello and welcome to episode 11 of this 52 project. This is most likely the last photo about winter here in southern Sweden. And um, this is some shatter of ice, you may say, in the golden hour. I was quite fascinated about this amount of ice uh, laying here. And um, you could hear the, the ice clutching together in the waves, or the, the small waves. And uh, you could see the sun reflecting in the, in the ice. And, um, and also you can find billions, I guess, patterns in this, um, in this ice um, pieces. In different sizes and different shapes. And of course different reflectives. As you see some reflects more than others and uh, some is lying more in the shadows. This week I didn't take as much photos as I wanted to <laughs> so there was not a huge amount of uh, photos that I, I had to choose from and one of the potentials uh, I already uploaded to Glass earlier this week. It was, uh, it was a photo of a bridge here in, in Gothenburg, early, early morning. It was a black and white photo, uh, 16 by 9 crop. Uh, but it wasn't, it, wasn't really, it wasn't really perfect as the... Um, yeah, I don't really like the left lower corner. Uh, you can see for yourself here. Uh, but this this fascinated me because it was so so much ice and uh, the layers was like two centimeters or so uh, I think and um, and I made some edits to this I I I made a screen record uh, to show you the layers I put on this specific photo and um, I haven't done that much but. I made the, the top center and top right a bit more bright and I made a gradient filter from the top of this photo and down uh, to get a bit more more brightness and uh, more warmth in the in the highlights and uh, the gradient filters I made uh, with a with a more darker theme I made a bit uh, bit bluish uh, more blue in the in the shadows to get a bet better dynamic or better contrast between the between the warmth and, uh, and the cold parts in this photo, I don't really know how you can how you can read this uh, specific photo. It's a mess. It has so many shadows and uh, so many layers and so many um, broken pieces, like uh, like in the world today. I guess uh, you can say we have um, we have the climate, the economy, the um, the war in Ukraine and Russia, and uh, everything feels a bit dark since uh, 2020 when uh, COVID come to the planet in a wider wider manner. I guess most of us feels a bit a bit hopeless actually I guess but um, I was in a camp when I was young in um, Schittelfjell it calls northern Sweden we were there skiing it was a religious camp uh, I'm not religious but my friends were and um, I took the opportunity to follow them there and uh, every night we had some some meeting talking about Jesus and Christ and uh, all that and I had to be there and listen but um, there's one thing I have taken with me and it's so it's so easy and um, it's a it's an argument that that is so easy to put on children but uh, in this photo, I, I have taken this with me all my life since I heard it, like when I was uh, 12 or 13, I think. Um, 
the and and the priest or the, the the leader said that the devil is the shadows and uh, God is the the highlights the bright brightness and you can't beat the light with uh, with shadows because if you're in a dark room and you open the door to to outside or or a room with uh, with the light on the light will go into the room and uh, and light it up uh, and the priest said or the other leader said that that darkness and uh, and the devil is common in that way and uh, and god or jesus or what he said is the light that lightens up so so jesus will always win or god will always win and i think i i will not make this a religious photo but i think if you put it that way and uh, see the all the shit happens in the world uh, as a shadow and all the bad things the war the economy everything is is the shadows and um, the brightness is the future i think um, i think those uh, pieces of ice will uh, will melt and make a, a calm uh, nice surface of just pure water and um, and we will find some some nice uh, not some nice time in front of us and um, we will not forget but we will leave the war and the the crisis behind and uh, find a, a happy future uh, in front of us and i i hope uh, i hope i really hope so <laughs> because the, the the past few years has been uh, a roller coaster for everyone i guess and uh, especially the older with covid and ukraine with uh, with the war and the russian soldiers uh, you easily forget them but the russian soldiers not all of them but uh, many of them has had some really hard uh, time also uh, to get forced into war like that uh, so i really um, yeah i want to see this photo as a hope for the future and uh, leave um, leave this um, this mess behind and uh, meet the spring meet the warmth meet uh, meet the sunshine meet the brighter days and have a fun time uh, shooting in uh, in this season that will come thanks for for this week and um, please leave a comment or or give a thumbs up if you if you have a question or if you like this uh thanks bye